Tropicking Hurricane Elsa tonight, the first hurricane of the year, appears to have Florida in its sights. And tonight, parts of the Caribbean are being hit with some heavy rain and high winds. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The storm has the potential to hit Florida early next week. Max Defender 8 meteorologist Rebecca Berry is watching it very closely for us. Rebecca, you just got an update too. We just got an updated track from the National Hurricane Center and the big question was, are they going to shift it a little bit further west since the GFS ran, run just shifted a little bit further to the west? And so here's how it looks on the satellite right now. Still a Category 1 hurricane and we didn't see any huge changes in the track. And so for the next couple of days it's expected to bring category one strength as it approaches Cuba. Now the interaction with Cuba, those mountainous land the mountainous ranges over the land oftentimes tear these storms apart and it is expected to at least push it into a tropical storm back down to 65 mile per hour winds but what we didn't see was any change in the track it didn't move any further to the west and so the GFS is now favoring a more panhandle location but that was just one model run and the National Hurricane Center is continuing to keep it moving over the Tampa Bay area and then out into northeastern Florida this is a large margin of error keeping in mind this cone represents a place the the location of the center. So it could be all the way out into the west coast. It could still be an Atlantic storm at this point. And so if this were to verify, we would have a very rainy Tuesday. This is the 8 p.m. Tuesday position moving into Wednesday as it lifted north. And still very low confidence in this forecast at this point. We have a high confidence up until this point right here on Monday morning. After it gets over Cuba, the, the models tend to diverge and we get a very different picture of what different models think will happen with this system. In fact, here's the spaghetti models. You can see we have several models calling for an Atlantic storm, more models calling for a Gulf storm, but still it's too soon to tell where the system is going to end up and when and if it will impact our forecast area in the middle of next week. We are taking a look at the main differences between what the GFS is saying and the Euro saying coming up in just a few moments.